Bye, bye, bye. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you how to buy your very first stock in Weibo. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from people that are moving from Robinhood over to Weibo or from M1 Finance over to Weibo asking me all these questions like, hey, Mr. V, how do I place an order on Weibo. So I'm gonna show you how to place a buy order in today's video. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, um, if you are looking for ways to transfer money from your um, bank account to Weibo or from Weibo back to your bank account. I did some videos that I'm gonna hook up here. You can definitely go check out. Um, I have a playlist for, for Weibo um, here that you can definitely go check it out. Um, so uh, when it comes to buying your first stock on, on Weibo, so you've, you've gone through the process, um, transfer money, you have money ready to invest. Um, now you're thinking, um, how do I buy that stock? A first step is identifying what stock to buy. That I'm not gonna do in this video, that's on you. So if you don't know how to find stocks to buy, uh, that would be a separate video. So I'm not gonna do that today, but today I'm just showing you that if you know exactly what you wanna buy, these are the steps that you can go placing that. And we're gonna focus today um, looking at the Weibo mobile app. So they also have a platform that you can use, um, a desktop platform that you can use. I'm gonna do a separate video on how to do it on the desktop platform, but today I focus again, is just on, on the mobile app. So um, I'm gonna bring up Weibo here so we can definitely take a look and see how you can do that. So, so once you log into your Weibo account, um, so in my case, I have all these different um, stocks in my portfolio. Um, but if you want to buy a stock, so you go, um, you can go here where it says on the watch list here at the bottom. So if you click on the watch list, so see I created a watch list that I just follow. These are stocks that I, I, I keep my eye on. If I click on the ellipses here, I also have another list here that I watch like here I have cruises and airlines and stuff like that that I, I can actually go to. So you can just click on the add uh, list here and you can create a new list um, to add stuff on. So if I know the exact stock that I want to buy, I can just go here to search and I can type in the ticket symbol. So in this case, I can say uh, ET, which is energy transfer. Uh, I know the company because I have them in my portfolio. So if I want to buy this stock, it, see here what Weibo does, it shows you this really nice graph, uh, graphical representation that you can actually see uh, where the stock is trading at that particular time. And then, so if I go on the trade, it brings up the trading window. So for me, I want to buy the stock. So I have the option to buy the stock, um, um, maybe do a limit order, uh, market order, or maybe do kind of like a, you know, you have a stop order, whatever. But in this case, um, just um, I'm doing this after hours. So I have to do a limit order. I cannot do a market order because the market is closed when I was recording this video. So uh, if I do a limit order, in this case, I say I want, I, I want to buy the stock at 825, and I want to buy, um, I'll say 820, in this case, I'll just say 820. And I want to buy one share of energy transfer at 820. So notice I say, I click on limit, and then I put in my price, and then see how buy is highlighted, because that's what I want to buy. I can add the quantity or reduce the quantity. So I say 820 is what I'm willing to pay for this particular stock. So that's why I'm doing a limit order. If I did a market order, if the markets were open right now and I did a market order, it would buy at the price at a particular time in the market, but I want to do a limit order. And then at the bottom here it says um, time and force. So if I say just today or I say GTC, which is good till, uh, good to cancel. So until I cancel this particular order, it's gonna stay in there at 820. Um, and then extended hours, yes. Um, extended hours just simply means that um, I'm able to trade um, when the market closes, at, in, in my case, central time, um, when the market closes at 3 p.m., I can still trade until 7 p.m. Um, central time, and then I can start trading again um, at uh, 3 a.m. Uh, central time. So if you're Eastern time, just add one hour, just uh, minus, no, no, add one hour if you're Eastern time. So in this case, so I input all the information that I want here, like you can see, 
and then um, uh, Weibo has the options to do advanced orders. But well, since I'm doing after uh, market or I want to keep this stock, I don't really care about the advanced order. And I'm going to do a separate video um, on how to leverage advanced orders on, on Weibo. So uh, now I'm ready to go. And all I have to do is I click buy. Um, and there you go. My order is in. Hasn't been executed yet because I put the order at 825. So if, if if the order execute i'll get notification that my order has been filled so if i go on the open orders um right now under my open orders i have two orders see the one that we just put here which says um buy at 820 um and right now the price is 825 so my order is not filled yet so if the price drops down to 820 then my order would be filled otherwise I have the option to cancel this order before it even gets filled. So, um, and at that point, once the order execute, you get confirmation that it, the order would appear in my um, in my position, in my positions, and that's it. I own that particular share. So, um, and then if the price of the share, go, the price of the stock go up, and I want to sell it, um, then I'm going to do a separate video to show you guys how you can also sell, um, you know, a stock in Weibo. So there you go, guys. That is a simple steps on how to place or buy your first share in Weibo. Let me know in the comment section. Um, what do you think about the Weibo platform? I personally like it. Um, some people say it's very complicated. Is that what you think? You think Weibo is very complicated compared to the other platforms? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed already. So if you can go ahead and just hit that subscribe button, uh, it will let YouTube know that you guys really do care about the content. And as always, guys, stay motivated.